Hey everyone, this is on YouTube channel with the Apple iOS Genius. Uh, today we're just going to go through a really quick and Safari individuals are unable to open a PDF document and they uh, sometimes just cancel a button because they don't know what else to go for. So basically here is Safari, we're just going to go ahead and open this. This is 702. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and select here. 702 is in Safari. Uh, and then basically Somebody was requesting for a, a actual document, which is a bathroom uh, template. And I'm just going to this because this was just recently found. So, like, we'll just select this and then just say you want to go ahead and view printable, which now let's try to open a PDF. So, individuals will actually get this message here Adobe Reader blocked for this website. So, basically, to fix this issue is basically you just need to hit this which a lot of individuals normally just go ahead and hit cancel and that doesn't really do anything for you so what you need to do is go ahead and select on trust once you select on trust it would actually prompt you with a new message that says before viewing any documents in this browser you must launch Adobe Reader uh, the reason is is because whenever Adobe updates their reader program and has a newer version you have to go through this to accept a new licensing agreement. So we're just going to go up to the applications and you want to go to Adobe Reader. Once you open that up, this is the agreement. This agreement may change every now and then and when it does, that's when you have problems with um, Safari not opening PDFs or viewing PDFs. So we're just going to go ahead and agree. Once we agree, it's going to say Adobe Reader is not you're currently configured to your default application for PDFs. Normally by DF default is the automatic preview uh, of right here, preview for Mac for reading PDFs or any other files too, like pictures or so forth, or even video. So we're just going to go ahead and Adobe is not currently configured. So would you like to make PDFs files open with Adobe Reader instead of preview? We're just going to say no. Because if you did say yes to this, it will actually open Adobe Reader each and every time. So we're just going to say no, so we want to have it displayed in Safari. So we're just going to go hit no. And then we're just going to go up here, hit enter again. And then it's going to keep saying this because we're actually in the same browser. So what we need to do is close it out. Here we go is Adobe Reader. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to hit quit. We're going to go to Safari, and then if you want to go back to that template area, so I think it was in bathroom pass um, template, or any template for that matter. So like say if we go here for a customized template, and then we select on, let's see, homework pass. And then there's a view printable. The only reason I keep getting this message here, identify your website, Facebook, is because in my school, uh, Facebook is blocked, so this is always going to come up. For those individuals that have access to Facebook, it would actually work for you automatically. So basically, there's a cookie that's going to be sent to your Facebook as well. So you want to go ahead and cancel that. You want to select on view printable. So once you do this, boom, there you go. Now you can actually view and see PDFs in your uh, Safari browser. So if we go back and back and back one more time, go to the original one which is a per sheet. You want to go ahead and scroll up, view printable, and it will actually pop up. So basically this is the YouTube video for Apple iOS Genius. We're just going to go ahead and what we showed to you is how to open PDFs uh, and view them in a Safari where uh, previously it did not work. Well, thanks, and hopefully you enjoy my channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit on the YouTube channel. Comment at the very bottom. And to find me, you can go to Apple iOS Genius. And then you can select on Buy iOS Genius here. And then you'll be able to see all my videos, our recent video uploads, as well as past videos as well. Thanks.